What's up everybody mark from ecom warriors welcome to a new video today's video guys is gonna be a little bit different It's gonna be a video where I just talk to you one-on-one -on -one. I'm gonna spend a few minutes talking about where I started my story and the reason why this video is important is Simply because one of you asked about this on my youtube channel. So I'm gonna go ahead and start off uh, My story started very simply right after college or right in the uh, before college right after high school um, I used to play a game called World of Warcraft, and World of Warcraft was a game I know is kind of nerdy, but you have to spend money to play. And I know a lot of people are going to say, well, why would you pay money to play a video game? But that's something I did as a, you know, little nerd, like to play video games. It's kind of what I did. And so I played World of Warcraft, and World of Warcraft was a very fun game to me. I would spend three days straight playing no breaks. So I always had this go hard mentality at really almost anything I did, even if it was video games or football or sports or, you know, really anything else, powerlifting, whatever it was, I had this kind of go hard mentality. Now that kind of changed later on down my life, but I'll explain my story. So, um, I really had this really deep interest, uh, in kind of how to get to play World of Warcraft for free. And I would search all these different hacks and tricks and I would search how to get discounts on the game or whatever, and I really couldn't find anything. The only thing I found was how to make money online. And so that's actually what I started to pay attention to. And so I did some research on how to make money online. I found some methods like writing ebooks and things like that. Basically, to make it a long story short, I figured out how to pay off the game expenses, which the game expenses were about $12 a month. Um, and so I, I, as a, you know, a college kid, or I didn't start college yet. This was summer vacation, but I thought if I want to keep playing world of Warcraft, I have to be able to play for free because I'm getting a small amount of money for my two jobs. I was working a job at JC Penney's. I was also working a job at the restaurant at the time. It was an Italian restaurant where I only got paid tips. I didn't get paid hourly. Um, so it, there was a trade-off. If I worked on the busy nights, I'd make a lot of money, like a hundred bucks for the night. Uh, if I worked on a really, really slow night, I'd make like $27, which is not that much for a whole day's worth of work from two in the afternoon to midnight. Uh, so, you know, there was a trade-off, but anyways, I always had two jobs. I worked at JCPenney. My sister got me that job. So shout out to her. Um, and I worked at, uh, the, the restaurant and, um, this was during summer vacation and, I, I, my goal was to play World of Warcraft for free. So I finally figured out how to make $12 a month online, basically. And so then I started getting bored. I started getting lazy. Mind you, at this point, my mom had passed away. I was kind of like in this depression kind of phase in my life. And I was thinking to myself, well, if I could make $12 a month, I can make 100 and If I can make 100 I can make 1000 So let me see where this takes me. And I started thinking about making more money online. So I had a deep interest in, you know, powerlifting and things like that. So I figured, why don't I start a fitness business online selling powerlifting gear? And so I actually decided to do that. And from the powerlifting gear, the business that I decided to create grew bigger and bigger into a clothing company. The clothing company took off and it even beat the powerlifting business. And at that time, I was drop shipping clothing from a uh, clothing company um, that was owned in Europe. And this clothing company was a fitness company that wasn't really too successful at the time. I was drop shipping and, um, you know, it would give more bulk to the products on the website. And eventually, I sold the business. And when I finally sold the business, uh, I was probably, it, it was maybe my second year in college, maybe my first year, something like that. Uh, I think I was in an, 18. I was 18 for sure. Um, I know that when I entered college, I was 17 and I became 18 later on down the road, but, um, I sold that business and I sold, I did very well. I sold the business for a very good price as a beginner. And, um, this was mind you, I was still a beginner. So I really didn't know much about business. All I knew was that it was possible to grow. I later on built an agency that I eventually sold after that. Um, I've created other brands and other businesses that just generate me passive income online. And that's really my story in a nutshell. Now, there's a lot, a lot of dark nights that I had a lot, a lot of long, you know, essentially a uh, really long road that I'm not even going to be willing to talk about other than the fact that it was a very dark road for me um, in entrepreneurship because I had this dream. I had this dream to be so successful and the whole time I was in college um, and it was tough and it was tough, but I finally got through with it. Uh, I remember 
graduating college as a fully self-employed individual. Uh, after those two jobs that I worked in high school, I never worked another job again. And I hope to keep it that way by keep working hard on my businesses and just teaching everybody what I know. And the reason why I'm so gung-ho about conversion rates and conversion optimization is because I didn't have the money to afford, you know, ads when I first started. I, I couldn't afford it. You know, now we spend four grand on ads a month, five grand, 10 grand, 12 grand. But I couldn't do that before. Um... Uh, and, and back then it was like debilitating, you know, I couldn't even spend 20, $30. In fact, I didn't even use Shopify back then. Back then I used, um, I learned how to code a website, uh, to, to actually create some kind of business because I couldn't afford uh, a GoDaddy hosting account. I couldn't afford a blue host or a blue, um, uh, Bluehost hosting account. I just couldn't afford it to put my website in WordPress. So I had to learn how to code. I remember creating my first website. It took my, it took me three months to create my first website. And then three months after that to finally create my first sale. Um, so it was, a, it was a lot guys. I mean, I went through, it was a long, long, long process and every dollar was accounted for. I remember I drove my mom's 1997 vehicle and this was recent. Um, you know, I, I, I've been through a lot of hard times and no way am I complaining. I had much better uh, chance than a lot of other people out there. Uh, but I think the chances that I had, the luck that I had, the, 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 the grace, the blessings, whatever you want to call it that I had, um, I, I think I want to pass down the, that those blessings by just handing down free information on this YouTube channel and just kind of showing people why I do certain things and why I configure certain settings on my stores and my businesses. And really without talking about numbers or sales too much, uh, I've done very, very well. And more, you know, that would put me in the, essentially numbers that would put me in the 1% of the category of the world today. But with that being said, I'm not really big on putting numbers out there. I'm not really big on showing off or anything like that. I used to be when I didn't really have much, which it's odd when, you know, the tables kind of turn. Um... You know, when I was younger and I didn't have much, I was all about getting rich quick and buying Lamborghinis and showing off. But then finally, when I acquired the success, acquired the monetary value, I realized that it was a waste and it was just to impress people, which is a waste, like I said. Um, so now I just, you know, spend my time building passive income businesses that buy me my free time, that buy me my personal time. So if I want to spend a week taking a vacation, I can absolutely do that. But by no means am I um, selling this get rich quick scheme or this vacation laptop lifestyle. Um, even though it is possible, that's not what I'm selling. That's not what I'm talking about. And when I say selling, guys, I'm not actually selling anything. I'm saying that's not what I want to portray. That's not the visual I want to portray. The visual I want to portray is that if you work hard, you can eventually achieve whatever it is that you want to achieve. Uh, I have businesses today that when somebody buys something, I don't have to be sitting there in front of a, a, a you know a Dymo label printer and a bunch of boxes to print and label and ship packages. I have a warehouse that does that for me. Everything is is all taken care of. Um, so, uh, that's essentially a passive income business. All I have to do is do the marketing. I set it up once and I set it and forget it. And, um, you know, I've only grew to that. Like I said, when I first started, I didn't have much background knowledge on advertising, nor could I afford it. So I had to learn about conversion rate optimization. I figured that anybody who comes to my website, I have to give myself the absolute highest possible chance to convert them as a customer. And that's exactly what I did. I learned about conversion rates so well to the point where my highest business ever that had the highest conversion rate I ever had was a 32 and a half. And I still remember that conversion rate like yesterday. That same business is still making me money till today, but it's about 23.4 now. So it's a little bit less, but it's still a very, very significant, very successful business um, with a very high conversion rate that pays me on a monthly basis. Uh, so with that being said, um, I made the most of what I had and I didn't have everything, but I didn't have nothing either. I had a lot of opportunities and I used those opportunities. Um, uh, it's not like I started off like uh, some other people who start off in Africa with n not even a computer or, or India. I know there's a lot of people out there from India watching me. Uh, I saw the YouTube analytics. There's people from India, from Africa, from wherever. I know I don't have much viewers, but something that I want to say is uh, wherever you are, doesn't matter where you are, what you have, a good entrepreneur can come from anywhere. 
It doesn't have, you know, not everybody can be an entrepreneur or a business person or make passive income, but an individual like an entrepreneur can come from anywhere. And it doesn't matter what you have. It just matters how well you use those resources. So YouTube, for example, is a free resource. I know I'll be contributing to it and keep putting out content and keep putting out free information. Uh, but that's all I really have to say. All right, guys. So thank you guys for watching. I appreciate every single person who watches. Uh, more importantly, uh, besides me appreciating the watchers, I want to help the watchers. I want to help the viewers by providing free content. At the end of the day, it's not about your resources, but it's about how resourceful you can be. That's something I wholeheartedly believe. And something that I'll say is I'll never preach a get-rich-quick method. I'll never preach a method that, you know, um, where you promises you to make a million dollars. I can't do that. That's not me. I never had an experience where I just woke up the next day and, Five million showed up in my bank account. I never have that experience. And I don't know if I will, right? I don't know if I will. I know some people say that they can just turn on an ads engine and then all of a sudden they make a million dollars for that month. For me, all the successful ads that I've really ever had lasted for about two to three to four months. And then once those months shut off, I had to figure out a new campaign. I had to figure out something new. And yeah, those ads made a lot of money, but it wasn't something that, you know, just, you know, so easy, like everybody kind of explains it to be and kind of like money shows up um, in your bank account. I, I feel like it's kind of overstated and it's not exactly like the truth is not really shown online. Uh, people say like, oh, set up a Facebook ad and then watch the conversions come in. I, it doesn't really work that way, at least from my experience. And I can only speak on my experience after, you know, surpassing six uh, figures in revenue. Um, so uh, with that being said, I don't really know how else people become successful other than struggling and working hard. And that, that was really my reality. And I know that's probably the story that not a lot of people want to hear. I think a lot of people want to hear a story of, you know, I was 17 in my mom's basement and I had nothing. And then within 30 days, I bought a Lamborghini and I got my first mansion. It didn't work for me that way. It was a very, very slow process for me. Like I said, the first three months, I... I couldn't afford to have a website. Well, technically I could. I had over $1,000 in my bank account. I think I had like $1,019 or something. I spent majority of that 1000 on inventory for my products. I had about 70 something dollars left. I couldn't afford a website, so I had to learn how to code myself. Nonetheless, Shopify, even if Shopify, even if I knew, first of all, I didn't know about Shopify. I didn't know it existed at the time. Even if it did exist, I wouldn't be able to afford it. $29 a month was like a heart attack. Um, so, I mean, where I was to where I am now, thank God, is a huge difference. And with that being said, uh, I'm going to keep working hard in the future. I, I think I'm just too young to retire now, uh, nor do I want to retire. I feel like that's kind of boring. Um, but, you know, I'll just keep making these free videos, keep working on my businesses and helping you guys out. All right. Thank you guys for watching. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.